Herds of cattle clustered around the palm fruit research farm at the Federal University of Agriculture, Makadi, which was established in 1988 to support agricultural and food sufficiency research programs. The university's vice chancellor shares his frustrations with the security advisor to the Benue state governor on the threats to research and academic safety while taking him round. When they move in, they destroy a lot of things, like our students' research farms, our own commercial farms, and even individual farms. You know, the entire community here, this is where they farm. What is most disturbing is they are coming heavily armed, and uh, they are eating up the crops of the villagers. Any of them that dares to challenge them, they either attack him with their weapons, or sometimes even uh, outrightly kill the, the farmers. Since the reported influx in February this year, the Benway State Livestock Guards, the body charged with enforcing violation of the anti-grazing law, has impounded over 600 cattle. <laughs> Governor Samuel Otom arrives at one of the holding camps for the impounded livestock to evaluate the threat. He asks security agencies to support the state and enforce the laws against herders bearing arms. Why should they carry sophisticated weapons and come here and terrorize people? And our close look at these people, they are not even Nigerians. We know the Fulanese who are Nigerian that have lived with us. We know them, they are here. These are harmless people. But why should these armed people come in to terrorize us here in our own country? So all that we're concerned is to ensure that the law is enforced as far as we're concerned here in Benway State. These safety trucks to help the guards move impounded herds from the fields to holding centers were acquired by the state government. But the need for security agencies to enforce the ban on open grazing is perceived as a more effective solution to the impending threats.